Hello, my darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So guys, we do have a few changes, um, which uh, I think you're going to be pretty excited about. So um, as you guys know, and for those of you who are new who don't know, uh, if you like, share, comment, subscribe, I choose winners every month. Um, I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, runes, crystals, books. Books, Bibles. Um, it's a lot of fun. So in the description box, um, you're going to see hashtag the whole list of, of everything that I give away. So you're just going to put your comment, like let's just say you want to comment and tell me your story, which I love reading by the way. Um, and then at the end of your story, just hashtag tarot cards if you want to manifest tarot cards in the giveaway. I think that would be easier um, because I read all of the comments, but emails get kind of lost. You know what I'm saying? So um, you can just go ahead and manifest what you would like to win in the giveaway via the comment section okay um i also do a 250 dollars giveaway every month um which is a lot of fun and i have opened four new channels guys um because as you guys know i have cancer baby tarot which is um a channel only for cancerians so i get a lot of emails of people the emperor popped out uh, i get a lot of emails of people wanting their own channel you know signs wanting their own channel so i've been keeping tabs on um all those emails and for the new year um the four that won was virgo virtuous virgo um leo so we've got Leo of Light Tarot, Pisces at Perfectly Pisces Tarot, and Aries at Allure of Aries Tarot. So the links for all four of those channels can be found in the description box below, and Cancer Baby Tarot is also in the description box below, okay? Um, all right, guys, I'm done chewing your, <laughs> chewing your ear off. So if you want to subscribe to the new channels and click that notification, that info is below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe on this channel and click that notification bell so you know when my readings and when the um, winners are announced. And if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, my email is below, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my cancers, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity, guidance love messages for my cancers please sun moon rising and venus signs what messages do my cancers need to hear today all right so we're going to do a you versus them you place yourself where it resonates and your person where they resonate okay so we've got the tower aries scorpionic energy and we have the high priestess we have the king of wands leo sag aries energy and the king of swords aquarius gemini libra energy We've got the Knight of Swords, more air energy, and the Six of Cups. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So Cancer, uh, yeah, see, look at this. So here on this side, we have somebody here who keeps sabotaging a connection. Okay, why does the connection keep getting sabotaged? Because this person has secrets. That's why they're hot and cold, hot and cold. I feel that there is an ex in the picture here that likes to cause a lot of drama. Okay, there's an ex that comes and goes. And I feel like we have an ex. Um, now, this can be your ex. This could be a person, you know, this person may have an, there may be an external third party here, possibly, because we've got this Queen of Wands. This could be an external third party here that is coming back in wanting to reunite with your person or Cancer. This may be an ex that's coming in to reunite. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. Tell me about this tower. We have the Justice card, Libra Energy. We have the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups. What is happening here? So Cancer, this could be an energy of somebody here is doing the right thing and letting something fall. Someone here has secretly fallen in love or hasn't told you how they feel. King of Wands with the Nine of Cups, King of Swords and the Ten of Cups. 
So someone here wants to do the right thing. So they're letting something go. They're letting something fall. I feel like someone here has a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions, but it's a secret. So Cancer, they may have a lot of love for you that they haven't told you, or they have fallen in love with someone new and they haven't told you. Um, I feel like this person is very passionate. Their wishes are fulfilled and they're very, they're, they have a lot of that King of Swords energy. It's a very intelligent energy, but I'm getting planning for the future. Someone here is planning a ton of cups. Now, I don't know if it's with you. We've got the Knight of Swords and the Tower and the Six of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Oh, Cancer, no, this person plans on coming in out of nowhere. And, and I feel like this is someone from the past coming in and you don't, there, there's no trust here. Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. So Cancer, this person here, okay, has made the decision to do the right thing and let something go. With that tower, I'm feeling I'm just going to let my walls fall. I'm just going to let something go. Maybe this person has loved you, Cancer, but they haven't opened up and told you that they have fallen in love with you. I'm seeing walls crashing down, Cancer, with this tower. I mean, do you, I mean, just look at the, do you see what I'm saying? I'm seeing walls crashing down. So I feel like someone here is realizing that you are their wish fulfillment. They want a future with you and they're just going to come in like a bat out of hell wanting to tell you that. And they may get stabbed in the process. No, I'm playing. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Yeah, but you have your sword up. You're not trusting them, Cancer. Now, Cancer, this could be you. This could be you making the decision to come in and just open up and tell someone how you feel and they don't trust you anymore. This person wants a new beginning with you. They see you as pre-empress. Nine of pentacles plus one is the ten of pentacles. You see what I'm saying? They see you as pre-empress material. So if this is your person's side, we could read it that way. Or Cancer, you know, you, this may be you that's rushing in to reconcile with someone. So we have the Three of Cups. And we have the Page of Cups. Yep, someone's coming in with an apology to reconcile. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. And the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. And the hanged band, Piscean energy. Ooh, this person knows their worth. So Cancer, if this is your side, this is an energy of you have someone coming in wanting to apologize, wanting to reconcile. But Cancer, here's the deal, okay? With that Queen of Pentacles energy and that Nine of Pentacles energy, some of you make may make very good money, okay, possibly. Um, if not, the point here is, is that you don't need anybody, okay? You don't need anybody, Um whether it's financially, emotionally, you are good all by yourself. And I feel that with that Six of Pentacles energy, you gave a lot to this connection. A lot to this connection. This is an energy, I'm, I'm hearing someone tell you, Cancer, that everything you touch turns to gold. Everything you touch turns to gold because this is an energy of being a master manifester. Like you wake up in the morning, you get shit done. Do you see what I'm saying? And I feel like you're going to wait to respond to this person because you're tired, Cancer. You're tired. Maybe you're the only one, but yeah, you're, you're looking for an emperor here. You're looking for an emperor. Yeah. And you're, I feel like you're going to wait here, Cancer. Uh, uh, the Chariot, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. You're not making any fast decisions with this person. You're, you're just going to wait until you figure out what you, what you want to do here. Because you make it happen. You wake up in the morning and you slay. You're in beast mode right now. You're, you're in master manifesting mode. You know, maybe the new year has hit. You have a lot of plans. You have a lot of things that you want to get done. You see what I'm saying? You don't have time for games. You're looking to be in a power couple dynamic. Queen of Pentacles, pre-empress energy. You're looking for that emperor. Do you understand? Regardless if you're male or female, the point is, is you're looking for your divine counterpart. You're looking for the person. You're, you're just not looking for games. And you know your worth. You know what you're about. Three of Cups and the Lover's Card. Page of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Someone here maybe wants to apologize for putting you in a third party situation or for breaking your heart, lying to you, trying to cheat on you or steal. Um, 
we've got the fool and the king of wands there's that king of wands there i feel cancer that you feel you feel stupid that you gave to this connection this person it's like you keep giving to this connection and this person keeps making you it's almost like for some of you you feel like you're the butt of a joke with this person like i keep giving 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 and you just it's almost like do you think i'm a joke like you know what i'm saying are you mistaking my kindness for weakness like you understand Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So now we've got the King to the Queen of Pentacles on the board, the Magician, and the Six of Wands again. Hanged Man and the Eight of Swords. Cancer, this person wants you back. They're very passionate about wanting you back, but you're very much stuck in your head. You are not letting go of grudges this time. Yeah, this is this time, King, a Knight of Pentacles under the deck. You're going to be very, very slow to give to this person. Very slow to give to this person, Cancer. Spirit, what's the challenge here? The Fool, Aries Energy, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. The challenge here is going to be trusting this person again, Cancer. Because, yeah, you see, we've got the Hierophant under the deck, Taurus Energy. I feel like this person maybe is coming in wanting to offer you this Ten of Cups here. You see what I'm saying? We've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This person had repressed emotions for you, Cancer. They didn't show it, though. They may have even had you in a third party. But they're letting something go. They're letting those walls fall. They're just going to take that leap of faith and go after what they really want. Want. And what they really want is you, Cancer. The problem is, is you don't, you're not ready to take that leap of faith anymore. You've taken, you've played the fool one too many times. You have played the fool one too many times. And now it's stressing you out. You don't even know if like you want, you, you actually fear commitment with this person. It's stressing you the hell out, Cancer. You might be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. Um, it's stressing you out. So that's the challenge. The challenge is now that this person is coming in wanting to take that leap of faith, opening up to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, but you, you've just played the fool one too many times. The outcome, we've got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords with the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We've got the Ace of Cups there too. Cancer, I feel like Spirit is telling you this person and this person may be younger than you possibly but i feel like you're going to be receiving a message here cancer that the worst is over that that's it i'm done i'm not i'm done hurting you because we've reached completion and now we're at the ace of cups and you're at the ace of cups here too see the high priestess so i feel like someone a message is going to be coming in cancer saying that the worst is over the worst is over i choose you The worst is over. I choose you. I want to really, truly give you my whole heart here, Cancer. We've got professional assistance and kindred partnership. I feel like this person wants to work on having a strong soul tie connection with you. Consciousness of lack and your higher self. I feel like you um, bring out the best in this person. I feel like you bring out the best in this person and they realize that life is just better with you around, okay? Action, yin and yang, and woman holding a heart. Cancer, this person is, is chasing you. They're coming towards you. They see you as a soulmate and they realize that the love that you have to give, they're not finding that anywhere else. We've got soulmate and soulmate energy here children your love life is being affected by children and passion this person wants a passionate new beginning with you okay they really do now for some of you this person may try to get you pregnant or try to have a a, a child with you that's possible too um you may end up having a child with this person but i feel like they're coming into flirt cancer this person is very uh passionate about starting a new beginning they're, they're going to try to sweep you off your feet um but i feel like you're just kind of in this energy of i've played the fool one too many times with you you see what i'm saying um but i mean f as of right now i feel like their intentions are, are are genuine okay i love you guys bye